have a great show for you today. In a moment, we're going to take you to my interview with the Vice President of the United States, where we talked about the growing health care problem in the country. And after that, I'm going to take you to the zoo, where Fufu the elephant gave birth to a new baby yesterday. <laughs> that sounds like fun, Carrie. <laughs> so if you'll sit back, enjoy your coffee, we'll be back right after these messages. And we're clear. <sighs> Fuck! Oh, shit. That's it! I have had it! Not again. Alan, get your ass down here now. We've got to Forget talk. Forget it, Carrie. Why don't you just call your agent again? Or talk to Robert. Hey, he's the producer. Fine, get him on the phone. What is your problem? What is my problem? That should be obvious, even to a moron like you. You get the VP. I get Fufu. You talk to the Pope. I get Popeye. See a pattern? Okay, you're blowing this out of proportion. You get a lot of good stories. Really? Name one. Ah, uh, okay, how about the 105-year-old woman you interviewed? Yes, great story. You know what her hobby was? Knitting slipcovers for her dead friend's coffins. That aside, Thank she you. was very sweet. She was in a home. She also thought I was Walter Cronkite. She kept asking how the war was going in Europe. So what do you want? To practice journalism. I want to have the same chances you do. But we're different people. No shit! I've got a master's in journalism from Yale. And you went where? The Columbia School of Broadcasting, wasn't it? Okay, now wait a second. No, 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 don't get me wrong. I'm sure it's a very good school. I like how they put your name on your diploma with stick-on letters. Hey! Are you finished? I haven't even started. I am tired of lousy stories. A kiss-ass director, inept assistants, imbecilic writers. Gee, I can't imagine why no one wants to work with you, Carrie. Why, because I'm honest? No, I think there's a better term for you. And that is? You're a bitch. I beg your pardon. You're mean. Nobody likes you. That's not true. Really? You just called various members of our staff kiss asses, imbeciles, and inept. Thank you. You called me a moron. Am I leaving anything out? <laughs> yeah, you're an asshole too. Okay, you know what? You can pontificate all you want about your college and your degrees, but see, I'll always have something you never will. What? A TV cube. People turn on that set, they like me. They tolerate you. You're basically necessary, but irrelevant. Who the hell do you think you're talking to? I know exactly. My sidekick. It's your sidekick? Face it, Carrie, you're my Ed McMahon, my Willard Scott, my Miss Piggy. <laughs> oh, you're treading a real thin line here, buddy. No, I'm not. I just understand what kind of show we've got. And you think it's a good news show? I don't think it's a news show at all. And you're just content to let it remain that way? You bet. You're pathetic. You're fake. You're very rich. I could do this show in my sleep. I always assumed you did. Whatever, it's a no-brainer. Where else can I make $400,000 a year? You make 400 grand for that? Staggers the imagination, doesn't it? That's not fair. <laughs> uh, I make mm, a lot less. And do you know whose fault that is? Survey says yours. No, 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 best thing you can do for yourself is to shut up, pucker up, and start kissing some major ass. Okay, you listen to me. Uh, Carrie. Shut up! 
Okay, I'm listening. Maybe I am locked into this turkey for another three years, but things are going to change. Otherwise, it will be three years of hell. And partner, you can take your advice, stick it, then you pucker up and kiss my fucking ass! Gary. What the fuck do you want, Chris? We're on the air. Hi. Welcome back to the show. Good morning to the USA. Now it's time to rise. Open up your eyes to see people making history. And they're just like you and me. So wake up to the latest news. Start the day with it. You can savor it with your favorite. Today 